Replacing the Calcasieu River Bridge was the hot topic of a meeting between transportation officials and legislators today. The cost is a sticking point with many, and it includes charging a toll. KPLC's Haley Jefferson shares what the builder is saying about the proposed fees. Expected to be a seven-year project, replacing the bridge will cost an estimated $2.1 billion. Calcasieu Bridge Partners, the selected contractor, has agreed to front more than half of that, but plans to be repaid. Cal Calcasieu Bridge Partners will come up with the $1.3 billion. Okay. And they'll finish the project, they'll build the project, they'll get their money back through the collection of tolls. Department of Transportation and Development Secretary Eric Calavota addressed the concerns of the I-10 bridge improvement plan at the meeting with the Joint Transportation, Highways, and Public Works Committee at the state capitol. The most controversial topic was the toll rate for large trucks, 1873 for those without a tag. He proposed a business income tax credit for Louisiana truck drivers. Keep in mind the proposal that I put forth about the tax credit is only for Louisiana trucks. When the area officials expressed concern for building a bridge that the state can't afford, alternatives and transparency were also discussed. This is the only plan that has ever been considered. We've never looked at other possibilities, really. It's been a one-track P3 determined and not varied from at all. We're being forced into this deadline by single-minded approach that penalizes the citizens once again. Some wonder why the current I-10 bridge can't be rehabilitated. But we have had to do a series of repair projects on it over the years. We cannot keep band-aiding this thing together. So, uh, you know, That's it's going to come to the point where we're going to have to spend serious money to rehabilitate it. And I'm talking like 100 or $200 million to rehabilitate it. Uh, to keep it in service if, we're, if we don't have a timeline for when this thing can be replaced. Secretary Calavota says a decision has to be made by December 3rd to close the deal with Calcasieu Bridge Partners. In Lake Charles, Haley Jefferson, 7 News. And the rest of the cost not covered by Calcasieu Bridge Partners would have to come from public funding and grants.